Hello, I'm Susan Scurry with the marketing team at Print Audit. Today, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create a summary report in Print Audit 6's Job Manager. First, open Job Manager by going to the Windows Start menu, looking in All Programs, choose Print Audit 6, go into Reporting, and open the Job Manager application. The Job Manager application allows you to quickly build custom reports based on the jobs in your database. Once you design a report you like, you can save the report definition and easily create it over and over again. You can also schedule and email reports to other users. In this video, we will be creating a summary report. This report allows you to report on total job costs and volumes and includes grand totals. It does not provide detailed information or breakdowns of costs and volumes. For information about creating full or detailed reports, please refer back to the video library and review the videos for creating those reports. To begin using Job Manager, start by finding the jobs you will want to report on. Print Audit allows you to search for jobs based on a combination of criteria. And for reporting results to be clear and compelling, it is strongly recommended to narrow your search as much as possible. Because Print Audit can track thousands of print jobs per day, depending on the volumes in your organization. You can narrow your search results by using the criteria in the Find tab. First, specify the date range in which the jobs you want were printed. You can select one of the standard date ranges from the drop-down window, or you can choose Custom to enter your own date range. For this example, we will search for all jobs. Now you have the option to search for the user who printed. Select the User button to open the drop-down list and select the user you want to search for. Or select the Match on Report Group item and you can use the same drop-down to choose a reporting group rather than an individual username. If you leave this blank, Print Audit will find jobs for all users and groups. Next, you may use the Printer drop-down to select the printer you want to search for. As with previous drop-downs, you can also match on Report Group which will allow the same drop-down to provide you a list of all printing groups available. And again, if you leave this blank, Print Audit will find jobs for all printers. If you are using Print Audit 6 Recovery and have defined custom fields to display in the client pop-up window, then you will see those custom fields and you will be able to search on specified fields of value for each custom field you defined. Here, custom fields were defined for client numbers matter numbers, account numbers, and finishing options. If these fields are left blank, Print Audit 6 will return all jobs for all these options. Once you've defined your search criteria, use the Find Jobs command, and Print Audit 6 will retrieve the data matching your search criteria. Now that we've retrieved the relevant data for reporting, we can build a report. First, click the Create a New Report button in the toolbar. This will open the Build a Report wizard. Then, to build a summary report, click on Summary Totals Only. A description of the report will appear on the right. Now, verify that the number of decimal places that you would like to use in the report is correct. And when you are satisfied with these options, click the Next button to continue to the next tab. Now you may select the columns to total on. You can select up to three columns to total. For example, in this report we'll select User, Printer, and Color to get totals for each user, broken down by printer and color. Click the Next button to go to the next tab. Next, you can select the unit type you would like to display for the unit totals. To display cost totals in the report, click Show Job Cost Totals. Click the Show Job Count Totals button to display the total number of jobs in the report. The subtotal and page break checkboxes are available to set and clear subtotaling and page breaks by level. Click the Next button to advance to the next tab. Now you may enter an optional title and subtitle that will display on the top of each page in the report. Now you may click the Build button to build and display the report, or if you'd like to keep this report definition to rerun again, you can click the Save and Build button, enter a name and description for your new report definition, and the next time you want to build a report, it will display in the wizard. 
you can use the page back and forth arrows at the top of the page to scroll through the pages in your report. Once you create the report you want, it displays in its own tab in the Job Manager window. You can then print it to a printer or export it to PDF or HTML formats. For more information about Print Audit 6's powerful reporting features, please return to the video library and review the other helpful video demonstrations.